So people have asked me often why Catholic Charities is raising all this money for a new building when we could use that money to do really great things in the community. But the fact is, the buildings that we are operating in are really limiting the work that we can do. So I asked some of our staff to talk a little bit about how our physical space is affecting our ability to serve. Working in these buildings offer unique sets of challenges due to the age um, and condition. The buildings are approaching 100 years old. Um, the HVAC systems require constant maintenance. We spent um, upwards of $50,000 this year just on servicing our HVAC systems and replacing some that needed to be replaced. Um, we have an estimate to replace the roof on our building on 4th Street, which is approximately $300,000, which is just not an effective use of our resources. Going into a new building, we're going to have substantial savings on energy costs. Um, we're not going to have broken doors. We're not going to have windows that are taped up because air is just leaking through. So energy costs are going to be a significant savings on the front end. The other side, um, security costs. Right now we're monitoring a whole campus of buildings here, buildings over there, and then buildings over at our main office. Um, being able to monitor one building is going to be a substantial savings versus five or six buildings. We do our very best to portray as professional an image as possible to the client so they can have full confidence in the services that we are offering to them. However, due to the limitations of this building and old equipment and lack of insulation, I'm not sure exactly all the reasons, but because of that, winters are unbearable and summers are not far behind. When you add clients to that mix, I think it's unreasonable to invite a client to an environment like that when we're trying to make them feel comfortable, especially if they've suffered trauma or various other um, difficult situations in their life. It doesn't, it doesn't give the confidence that we would hope it would give to them for the excellent work that we can do on their behalf. In our caseworker office, uh, the ceiling, the entire plaster ceiling along with that drop ceiling com collapsed. I mean that's hundreds of pounds of material that just collapsed onto desks. I mean thank God nobody was there that to, you know, that would be injured. You know, we had staff, it, it collapsed all over like four staff's uh, desks and everything and luckily no staff, it just happened at a time that nobody was here. It happened during the day but no one was in actually in the part that, that fell um, and like we didn't have clients or anything. It could have been very disastrous. Three years ago, I can't remember, was it July and August? I know it was extremely hot. I came from our St. Anthony's campus, parked the car in the, in the back, and I noticed a client in a wheelchair uh, kind of trying to avoid this heat. She was in the shade. Uh, it was 100, probably 100 degrees outside. The elevator outside that helps um, indicate clients to get in the building was uh, broken so I saw our staff trying to fix it and I felt so bad for, for the client uh, waiting uh, to, be, uh, to be helped to, to, get, uh, to get in the office. Furthermore, you know, we collaborate with a lot of the other departments that are off-site. So, for example, we work hand in hand with Immigration Legal Services. They're located at the 4th Street office. So when a client needs to go for their green card application or they're doing their citizenship application or any other immigration appointment, they have to navigate. They have to come all the way down here. We explain to them how to get there, you know, and then they go all the way back to 4th Street. And, you know, it's a loss of time. It doesn't feel very welcoming again. It doesn't feel like you're really serving the client. So having that kind of being right next to one another is important and then also just the fact of like collaboration is really, really, really important. It doesn't provide the space that we need to provide the services to our clients.